In our last video, we began working on a sofa that will end up looking like this. And we left off in our drawing in a two-dimensional state about here. So we have all of the profiles created to create a majority of the actual structure. So what we're going to do is work in a southwest isometric view here, and we're going to start extruding. So first, we're going to extrude this bottom wooden panel, and we'll take that out 31 inches. Next, we're going to extrude this back panel, and we're just going to do that 0.25. Then, we will move this into place. And maybe I'll try to grab that corner and line it up right here. Okay, so now we have the basic wooden uh, shell all in place. Then we have the back upholstered portion that we can extrude something like six inches and we can move that into place. And look at it in our front view. Okay. And then we have our arms and our base that we see in the front. They're going underneath the cushions. So we could extrude this perhaps 25 inches. And then we'll go ahead and move that down. Okay, once we have that in place, it should look something like this. And just to take a look at it in um, perhaps shaded, we can see what it's starting to look like. Okay. So once we get it here, what we need to do is uh, create a few cushions. So perhaps in a front view, I could just grab a polyline and I'm going to do a line that is two feet, one inches long and up something like eight. Back over, two feet, one, see for close. I'll do a fillet with a radius of one for a polyline to smooth those corners off a little bit. Then we could do an extrude and maybe we'll extrude this back. We could do 25 to make it exactly uh, match the front of the sofa or if you wanted to you could do something like 26 so they hang over just a little bit. Okay, And then we could do another fillet with a radius of 1 and we could round off the corners so it doesn't look so plasticky and sharp. So there we got the front edge and now we can do the back edge as well. Okay, then we could make a few copies We'll grab this and copy it over two feet one and then four foot two. And now they're all in a row. Then we can bring them over with a simple move. Grab a midpoint in the back and we'll start trying to line that up. Okay, so we got it into place there. Then we'll move it up three.
And then we'll go to a top view and we'll move them forward four inches. All right, there we go. Once we have them in place, if you'd like, you could use a fillet with a radius of a few inches, maybe two or three. And we can curve these corners a little bit so it doesn't look quite so harsh. to get in there really close. There we go, kind of smooths that front end off. And you could do the same thing in the back with a smaller radius, maybe like 0.5. You can go smooth those edges. There we go. It's important to do things like that because nothing in the real world is ever quite that sharp. All right, once we have this into place, all we have left is putting the legs on. So off in this view here, I'm just going to do a straight line. And I'm just using my object snap tracking so I have an idea of where I'm drawing. And I'll make the legs eight inches long. And I'll do a circle on the top with a radius of one, a circle on the bottom with a radius of 0.5, and then I'll do a simple loft, pick both circles, enter, enter again, and now I have one leg. I can move this leg and I'll grab it from its center point and I'll just make sure I'm getting it underneath. Okay, and I can see that from a top view here. Then I'm going to grab it and I think I'll move it over three inches and then I'll move it back three inches. So that's directly underneath of my sofa. Now I could use a mirror. I'll select that leg and I'll mirror it this way. And then I'll use mirror again and I'll mirror it this way. That way I don't have to measure each leg. If I look at this in my 3D view, I'll just make this a single viewport. You can see here we have our sofa. I could go in and delete some of these guidelines. I'll change this to perhaps an X-ray view. And we'll look at this with 3D orbit. You can see here is your 3D model of a modern sofa with a bent wood frame. 